When he left this world, what he discovered will change how you see life. Let me share a story with you about a friend who had a really intense near-death experience. Instead of staying grounded on Earth, the story takes us to places where souls travel through a bright tunnel of light and have deep conversations with celestial beings about why they're here. This incredible journey was introduced to him by someone who noticed that their own near-death experience was surprisingly similar to the stories shared on this platform. As he explored the content she shared and looked into others, it was like finally getting answers to questions he'd been wondering about for a long time. His near-death experience happened shortly after he turned 30, right after his mother passed away. Since he didn't have close family around, he had to take care of arranging her funeral on his own. The stress of it all caught him off guard. He was raised as an only child by his mother, which was considered unusual at the time. Even her own parents suggested giving him up for adoption. Despite the challenges, she defied that suggestion, raised him, and worked hard as a waitress to provide for both of them. When he was 28, she got diagnosed with cancer, and by the time he turned 30, she was gone. The day of her funeral arrangements was overwhelming, and that night, he lay in bed dealing with financial worries and deep grief. As he lay there, tears streaming down, exhaustion took over, and he fell into a deep sleep. But he woke up suddenly, feeling intense chest pain. Desperation drove him to the bathroom medicine cabinet, and on the way back to bed, he collapsed. However, as he started losing consciousness, he found himself floating above his lifeless body. It was a strange feeling. He didn't feel attached to his physical form below. Then, something incredible happened. A tunnel appeared above the bathroom doorway, pulling him in. Driven by a powerful force, he moved forward and joined others who looked like radiant orbs, all moving toward a distant, brilliant light. In that intense moment, the mysteries of the universe unfolded before him. He gained advanced knowledge of math, science, and history. The radiant light, his true origin, surrounded him with love, replacing all negativity and suffering. As he got closer to the source, a source beyond mere beginnings, encompassing eternity and infinity, he felt a deep connection. In this place, time lost all meaning. Time, as we understand it, is something we made up for our earthly existence, where we're bound by mortality. As he approached the radiant brilliance, he felt a profound connection, letting his boundless essence merge with this radiant force. Suddenly, he was drawn away, finding himself in a vast white space with no clear boundaries, doors, or windows. Time had no grip on him, and he didn't feel hunger or thirst. Instead, he focused on complex math problems, trying to uncover the secrets of the universe. While deeply engrossed in thought, a tall, angelic figure appeared. The angel, almost nine feet tall, wore a flowing white robe with a shiny golden belt at the waist. With a warm smile, the angel greeted him and asked, You again? What did the angel mean by saying you again? The angel explained that he had been in this ethereal realm before and had chosen to return to earth. When he left earth initially, his memory was wiped clean, a common practice for souls starting their journey on earth. Earth being the most challenging dimension, allowed souls to decide whether to keep or let go of memories upon their return. Puzzled, he asked the angel, why did I choose to come back? The angel smiled even more and said, you must have had your reasons. Maybe he felt a sense of purpose on earth, or was drawn back by the love of family and friends. Whatever the reason, he had made a choice, a choice with significant consequences. As the angel spoke, he gained a deeper understanding of life, death, and the cosmos. His time in the vast expanse had expanded his awareness, offering a fresh perspective on the world. Although he still longed to reunite with the radiant source, he knew he had chosen a unique path. The angel stressed the importance of free will, emphasizing that the decision to journey and its purpose rested solely with him. No soul was compelled to leave the afterlife, but the angel couldn't explain why he chose to return to earth, except to reveal that he had made this choice twice before. Perplexed, he expressed his confusion, asking how he could make such a decision without understanding his initial choice. In response, the angel presented a contract, an agreement he had made before his earthly journey. In its sacred text were the objectives he had set for himself during his time on earth. As he read the contract, memories of his request to leave for Earth and his subsequent desire to return began to resurface. 
He had chosen to return because he believed that preserving the memory of his true home would help him achieve his earthly goals. It was like a warrior willingly embracing the challenges of battle, a sense of duty compelling him to face life's toughest trials. He realized something important and decided to start a new journey, preserving memories of home. Waking up on the floor, he felt strange, like he didn't belong in his own skin. The chest pains were gone, replaced by a deep sadness that overshadowed his longing for his mother. His soul craved something extraordinary, a light in the darkness. He sank into a deep despair, a never-ending pit of sorrow. Eating and sleeping became unfamiliar, and daily tasks seemed nearly impossible. The cloud of depression gradually lifted, but doubt lingered. Was what he experienced real? Over the years he shared his story with friends, hoping for their reactions. Some thought it was just a dream, while others believed his fall caused hallucinations. Only one friend saw it as a near-death experience, an idea he initially doubted. Now he's convinced the vision was real. It brings him comfort, knowing his mother is in a beautiful place everyone will reach. Though he wishes for a life review like the one he glimpsed, he keeps his self-assigned life tasks private, shielding them from judgment. Memories of the angelic conversation may be imperfect as time changes perceptions. He's thankful for the chance to share his near-death experience here. He asks for respect and discourages dismissive remarks. Whether you see it as a dream or not, your perspective is valid. Let's avoid undermining the experience with rigid beliefs. Thanks for letting him share this moment with you. Your viewership is appreciated. Please show support by liking and subscribing. Until next time, stay blessed.